Hey guys, welcome back to Brad's Greenhouse. In this video, we are going to be prepping for winter. It is, um, winter is basically here now. We're almost in December. This greenhouse behind me is all bubble wrapped up, got the, all the heating in place, but we are going to talk about free ways or very cheap ways to heat a greenhouse just to a frost free level. So we're not gonna be worrying about this greenhouse. We're gonna go out to the front and look at the little greenhouse and I'm gonna give you a few methods to keep that greenhouse just frost free, just warm enough so things survive and um, cold enough that it doesn't cost you much in heating. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the greenhouse we are going to be working with today. It re it's a lean-to greenhouse. So right there, I'm getting some warmth from in these windows, which is great. Good for frost-free. But um, so right there, the windows are bleeding out heat anyways. So I might as well trap that heat in the greenhouse and heat the greenhouse up. Remember, we're only going to frost-free here. So some other methods that are really good any reservoirs of hot water, especially put out on a cold winter night, but heat sinks in general. So if you can get a whole bunch of jugs, one gallon milk jugs, this is a two liter soda bottle. Um, on the coldest nights, you can actually put a little bit of hot water in them or a lot of hot water in them and warm it up. And it will, hot water holds an enormous amount of energy. So that is a great method to keeping a greenhouse frost free, especially in an emergency situation. I have done it many times. I used to, um, in my other greenhouse, in the first shots, I would fill my big sink with hot water because I have hot water in the greenhouse and the hot water would last all night long, um, saving on heating. It is much easier to heat up water in a high efficiency hot water tank than it is to try to like heat the air of a, a greenhouse with, um, 1500 watt heater or whatever so that's method one heat sinks they don't have to be hot water but you can paint them black you can um, keep them clear but you can fill up as much of the empty space with heat sinks of water as possible and as it gets cooler in here the water doesn't cool down as fast and actually will keep the air a little bit warmer another method that costs a little bit of money you got to buy a fan but you should have circulation in your greenhouse anyways. And just a fan, this is circulating on low, is going to keep the air from getting um, cool pockets in it. <clears throat> it's gonna keep it a lot more frost free because it's gonna be mixing the, the bottom air with the top air, etc., etc. Now, on to another method here. This one, it seems really obvious to me, but um, candles. Not a free method but a cheap method, right? So if you light a candle or two, candles produce so much heat for not much money. These are from a dollar store and they cost literally pennies per candle. And this will burn for four hours. Make sure you're safe when you're playing with candles. Make sure you have it in something contained. Don't just have them out in case something happens and the wind blows and they fall over. We want them to be totally contained, but a candle puts out an enormous amount of energy. If you've ever held your hand over a, a flame, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So each candle is equivalent, I can't remember exactly the number, but it's equivalent to about 100 watts, I believe, or 120 watts of electricity, of heat. So if you have six candles going, which might cost you 50 cents, and they burn for four or six hours for the night, so heating the greenhouse with six candles, that's equal to 600 watts of energy. So candles are an amazing way. And you can get the bigger candles from the dollar store too. Probably they're not going to be um, a few pennies each, but they might be a um, dollar or less. And they will burn for hours or days if needed. Good way to keep everything frost free is with candles. The next thing, and again, you're going to be spending a little bit of money on this. I don't know if it's a well-known device. It's definitely used for the farm industry, but I don't know if it's um, much for greenhouses or that. This is called a thermal cube. And I got this off Amazon. This plugs into your, your plug-in, so you have to have electricity for it. Um, and it comes on. I don't know if you can read that on there. It comes on at 
35 Fahrenheit or 2 Celsius. It is a completely, is an off unit. There's no switch to it. There's no nothing. It's got a built-in thermostat in there. And when it gets down to just, but when it's just about to freeze, this thing turns on. It turns off at about 5 degrees Celsius, um, but it comes on at 2. So for the most part, you can plug a heater into this, and the heater is never going to run unless it's absolutely necessary. So it will really save you some money. The final thing I found, and this is new to me this year, I found a little tiny heater. So this heater here from Comfort Zone is 300 watts as opposed to the normal 1500 watt heater. So it's going to take a lot less energy and you know what? It produces a lot of heat. Tons of heat for this little thing. It's a little, it's tiny, it's reasonably priced. And oh, I lied, it's 200 watts of, ener of um, energy. So a 200 watt heater. And for 200 watts, it produces an amazing amount of heat. And you don't have to have a 1500 watt heater going in the greenhouse. So I think a 200 watt heater for, I don't know, I think it was like 30 bucks. is fantastic. And I didn't even shop around. You could probably get them um, much cheaper than that. But there it is. Try to find one of these online. Probably on Amazon or something like that as well. But they work really good. This is it's class is like an office heater for your desk at work when you're um, when it's cold. And yeah, simple on off switch. So we plug that into the thermal cube. And we have a 200 watt heater that only comes on when it gets to two degrees outside. And really perfect for um, keeping a greenhouse frost free. Even one much bigger than this would keep frost free with this little guy going. I have it plugged in right now because it's cold out here. And I thought I might as well enjoy the heat from it. And yeah. So. Nothing is free. Nothing is ever free. But things can be cheap. I have viewed videos myself on heating your greenhouse for free. And it entails a big elaborate. You have to build a stove and this and that. And have a fire on the outside of the greenhouse. And a rocket stove. And a whole lot of labor involved for something free and all of the parts for that are not free anyways so by the time you're done with all your labor and everything like that your those heat your greenhouse for free videos um it just doesn't happen but anyways this is a heat your greenhouse for as cheap as you possibly can video and this one you even get to drink the soda first so um even it takes a long time to um, use up a dollar's worth of energy for um heating water so you can offset the cost of the energy used for the hot water with the actual product that you just drank so saves it from going to the landfill as well anyways guys i hope you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching